Uh, I'd like to say that uh, I'm very familiar with pro-life agencies. <clears throat> pro-life agencies consider life-saving procedures as life-saving procedures, not as abortions. But I want to say that there's thousands of pregnancy centers across the United States today serving millions of people and providing critical support to mothers and fathers and the expecting child. Mothers choose to enter willingly and voluntarily into a pregnancy center. It is a freedom. It is a choice. No one is dragged in there and no one is forced to continue service there. I'm curious if any of my colleagues have actually spent time in a crisis pregnancy center to truly understand the vital support that they provide. Personally, I know a couple of my friends that are OBGYNs that are volunteer medical providers at pregnancy centers. I met a, a medical doctor who serves as a medical director for a pregnancy center that specifically takes care of pregnant women with addiction. That is not a bad thing. I was shocked to see what HHS has had to say, and it was just mentioned earlier. Meet the TANF purpose of preventing out of wedlock births. It doesn't even say possibly reducing out of wedlock pregnancies. It specifically says preventing out of wedlock births. Frankly, I thought only a heartless country like China would callously and overtly and expressly prevent birth. To make it a goal to prevent birth. That needs to be changed. Last Congress, we worked hard to pass the Maternal Infant and Early Childhood Home Visiting Program, McV. We did that in a bipartisan effort. In my experience, and I've witnessed both that, this program and pregnancy centers, they do about the same thing. They support low-income, high-risk pregnant women and parents and their babies to enhance the overall health and outcomes for a mother and a child. Quite frankly, from what I hear today and what I've heard in the past from the other side, I can't believe we passed McV in a bipartisan fashion, but thank you for having a heart at that time to pass that because they have the same goal, the exact same goal. Pregnancy centers want healthy mothers and healthy children, healthy Americans. I had a patient who sent me a letter one time, an older lady, suggesting I meet a young woman that she knew. And she knew this young woman because she was a volunteer at the pregnancy center. I didn't meet that young woman until a couple years later. She's now my wife. She volunteered at the pregnancy center. And let me share a story with you. She took on caring for and working with a young lady about 20 years old who was raped and was pregnant, who felt that, her, that that was not the child's fault in her womb. And she wanted to let that child have an opportunity to live. That's a tough thing to do. My wife worked with her. This woman went on, had her child. She put the child up for adoption. About five years later, she gets married herself. That little girl was the flower girl in her wedding. That woman has now had two of her own children and adopted a third. You tell me what is wrong with any of that. That is a beautiful story. And I am so proud that my wife had something to do with caring for someone and providing a better life, not just for one person, but for two and ultimately for three. Let's not let HHS put an end to this type of beautiful work that's being done in Ohio, and especially for those who choose that option. I yield back.